What's up guys, today's unboxing is from Newer. So far, all their products have been good. So um, this is another one of those. This is a power supply adapter. It's pretty much a V-mount plate uh, for your rig. So I currently am using my a 74 on a small rig um, cage. But uh, this right here will be um, the adapter for like these batteries, these V-mount batteries. And I have another, this is a small rig battery that's 100 watt uh, hour that will last pretty much all day and you need something like a DTAP adapter to use it on like a monitor or um, to keep it going or something else like a, a light so you can keep it running like that but in order for it to currently what I'm using it is like using the DTAP and then directly onto it but then I don't have anything to hold this battery so you can so you can you can kind of like clip it with like um, like a what's it called um i forget the name of it <laughs> blanked out but uh a mini control arm you can use it on that or i'll put hook it up to a tripod and hold the battery that way but this is for something that you're using it on a giant you know building a rig up where you have like rods so it has some adapters and itself included inside of it so let's just get to unboxing this uh real quick and open it up I uh, don't have my razor on me, so this here we go. All right. Okay, let's show you guys this newer adapter. Here's the instruction manual for it inside, and then this is the plate itself. We're gonna and the tons of cables that came with it, which is the most useful part of this whole thing. Um, it currently came with the LPE6 adapter, which is pretty useful. Um, so the one of the big things is that if you're, this is built for Canon products, of course, uh, like the C70, C200, um, but I believe those use a bigger version of these batteries. So uh, I know the DSLRs use, our mirrorless cameras use this, the LPE6 version of this, and it comes with the DC adapter for it. And you have a couple of other ones like this is like a 12, this is like a monitor, straight direct monitor connection cable. This is a 12 volt adapter. And then there's a 12 volt to USB. And this is a 7.2 volt. So this is for, um, I'm not sure what which one it is, but 7.2 7 volt adapter and a 12 volt. So you just need to know which one. This is a five volt, I believe. So you just need to know which one you use it for. And let me see, taking a look at this, putting it up. The plate itself is very nice and uh, useful. Uh, the biggest thing is really uh, to connect this. Uh, you see these pins on the bottom of your battery, your V-Man battery, you slide it in there, it connects to it so you don't have to use the D-tap on the side of this. Now this is all rigged up. Now you can connect it to rails um, or the back of like um, camera. And um, it comes with all these like plugs on the side, as well as the button to turn on and off of it. So this is turning it on. You see it's powered up by the blue LED and you turn it off. So I'm gonna switch it on real quick. And then since I don't have uh, the rails on me right now to show you guys on as it's on a rig, you can kind of pretend that this is the back of the camera and then you hook it up to everything. And so you can, uh, since it comes with the built-in DTAP, you can, if you're using this, the rig, it's the battery itself, you can connect it straight there, or you can connect it straight to this uh, rig as well. So, boom, now you can connect that. And uh, actually, this is another one that I have. This is an Andy Sony uh, dummy battery adapter. This is basically the Sony batteries, so you can connect it to almost anything. So you plug up a light or a monitor via this one battery through DTAP, but it, what it came with is uh, the LPE6 to like the, this volt adapter, which is a little, just a plug, which goes like to one of these plugs on the side. So I'll, I'll show you guys in a bit. So this is for your DTAP and it only goes in one way, so you can plug it in and then of course plug that in and it'll power up your monitor for hours. Um, let me see. And we're just gonna show you guys right here on the side Right there you have these ports. It comes with a five volt uh, USB port, which you can use almost any kind of just five volt itself uh, or the cables that came with it to charge up your camera, your monitor, or a light 
that takes like five volt of power. So um, I let me see. I think I have this. Let's just here we go. This is pretend. This is this is not. There's no batteries in here, but we'll just kind of test this out real quick. So let's say this. We'll try this real quick. Um, let's see if it powers it up. I'm, I'm not sure if it needs two batteries or one battery, but we'll just test it real quick to see if it works with just one battery. All right. So let's see. And let's power it on. There we go. Let's see. And it does not work via one battery. Um, let's see. Yeah. So this one takes a DC of 15 volts. And this one only gives you. 12 volts. So let's just try something real quick. We won't use a DTAP. We're just going to use what came with it. This is a 12 volt adapter. So I'm plugging into the 12 volt right here slot on one side and I'm plugging in the other end to the 15 volt. But I doubt that would work because it doesn't fit in there. Um, yeah, it has to be 15 volts. And that's basically the size of it to plug in to the port. I believe that doesn't work either. That's 7.5 volt. So uh, it's just the size of what it is on here, the pins. These pins don't work uh, for these unless it's the actual pins. So if you have an adapter that actually converts it, um, but this battery bank, uh, this mounting plate does not convert 12 volts to 15 volts, but it does have like a type C power delivery of 65 watts, which is kind of cool. So you can also, have something that's USB-C to C or whatnot if it can only power this thing. But this does not work with this type of newer battery. So I have like some other mount, some other battery powered uh, consoles that also work with this as well. So you would just need straight up batteries. Like, you know, one of these batteries will work with this setup. But this is built for uh, monitors and cameras. So if you have a monitor, pull out a monitor. All right, here is a cheap Viltrux monitor that I have at hand, and currently it takes the L this uh, battery pack combo. So I'm gonna slide this in right here. Oh, actually, it won't fit because this thing is longer than what needs only holds the M FM 500H, QM71, and so forth. So it won't work with this Andy Cindy adapter. So let's test out with, let's see, DCN. Let's see if it takes, I think, I don't believe this is not 15 volts. I'm gonna try with the the, the USB-C 5 volt cable to see what it powers on. We'll go with that, let's see. And power it on, let's see. Let's see if it turns on, on. All right. It does turn on. All right. So you know that it even says it on here on the back of it. If I didn't read the back of this says uh, it takes a uh, battery is 7.2 watts or five volts of power. So 7.2 watts, which is um, just 12 watts. There's 12 volts. Um, oh, 7.2 watts. So it, you can use this or USB to power this on. So you can plug it in through USB that it came with, so that will work. And, or this cable, the 7.2 watt connector. So uh, let's say, let's plug into the eight volt connector and then plug this in through the DC in as well. Let's see if it powers on. All right. Oops. Plug in the battery, oops, it came out. Oh yeah, this is the, when I put it on the table, this is the ejector to eject the battery out, so. All right, got it. This right here, watch out for that button when you place it on the, foot, on the table, so you can unlock it. So I plugged it in, and it does power on through the 7, 8 volt out to the 7.2, so it outputs 7.2 watts, and also charges the monitor as well, so great work.
as uh, to keep your monitor running all day. Well, let's say you're, you know, you have your camera on rails and then you have all this set up and that works as that. And, ba and that is it to really to this plate setup. So there is a switch on the side again to turn off and on and so forth. And of course, this is a 100 watt hour battery. It's pretty light. This is a new design. Uh, if you haven't seen a previous video, check out my other videos regarding this. It's kind of cool. So, and that's it on the newer um, V mount battery plate adapter. It supports 15 millimeter rods and has a power delivery of 65 watts type C and 12 volt, 8 volt, and 5 volt outs. I think that's basically it with some tables. So if you have any questions regarding the plate, leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Sorry, I just noticed something on these. There's a couple of screws on the back of it. And then there's some screws here. So you can actually remove this and maneuver it anywhere you want instead of it just being on the rails like this and the battery be on the back. You can place it like flat and so forth or upside down or sideways or different mounting positions. So you just need to take out the adapter that I came with and it came with a couple more screws as well because uh, just in case you need to utilize it. So you can just remove this part right here. Oops, turn this using the Allen wrench. So and we'll do that part as well. And of course, these uh these are a little longer, so I'm not sure if they'll fit exactly into the other port. But let's say you remove these and take out the uh, these Allen screws. You can you can instead of being it right here on the bottom, you can actually place it. Um, oh, actually, they fit the same screws, so you can place it here if you want it. So you can mount it on the, like, you know, upside down, the battery. So you can place these screws right in there and then screw it in. So like, so if you wanted it like, like this, holding it upside down, or you can turn it, um, around, you know, vertically as well. You can go through this direction, you know, have it like sideways whatever direction you want it to be at and there even comes with two at the top as well so pretty much any direction you want it to be at uh you know you can spin this all around or you want it to place it at as well as the bottom so you get a lot of options when you're mounting this uh battery bank battery plate so that's another little thing so you can also take it off and just make it like skinny and just use it i don't know maybe on a tripod or something and that's basically it yeah